What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be making a light bar to install some fog lights on Timmy's bike. We got the idea from the one on my bike and just a disclaimer, we didn't come up with it but we'll show you the measurements and the process we're going to go through to make it exactly like the one that's on my bike. So stay tuned. All right, there's the steel there, the piece of steel we're going to use. It's about a 14 gauge steel. Don't quote us to that exactly, but you can see about how thick it is there. You need something pretty heavy duty so your lights don't bounce going down the road. Now from your long part, which Jimmy will show you, from the long measurement, uh, from there to there is 19 and three quarter, and from the inside right there is four and three quarters. So all we're gonna do is cut this, uh, cut this out. We're gonna put two holes in here and your lights will be mounted on either end of this. The only problem you're gonna have doing it probably at home, unless you have specialty tools, is putting this bend in here. And the reason that bend is there is to stiffen that whole plate up so it don't have a bunch of floppiness going down the road because when you're off-road, you don't want your lights bouncing, giving you that shaky light. And mine has been perfect. They don't move and they're good to go. But I'll show you over here on the bike what we're gonna do with them holes is you gotta take this whole plastic cow piece off. There is mountain holes right here, if you can see that. Two, one on each side, that's where clips went in. Or you just take those clips out, and when you cut that piece of steel, it's gonna go right up in there, and then you're gonna put two bolts in here, two bolts and nuts, and then put your plastic cow back up. We'll show you that whole process too, but pretty simple mountain, pretty easy to do. It's just a little bit of a pain to get bolts to stay in there, as you put this whole plastic cowl back up. So we'll try to show that process the best you can once we get this whole plate cut. We're gonna cut this plate now and try to duplicate exactly that same mount on this bike. So that's the 650, this is the 1000, but same measurement should work on both. Same setup. So we'll give it a go. Always wear your eye protection, your hearing protection, and your proper footwear when you're doing these things. Gotta be safe, people. <laughs> All right, so there you can see the rough cut so far. I'll do some cleaning up on that and then to get it test fitted on the bike. All right, there's pretty much the finished product without the paint on it. And you can choose any color of paint you want, I guess. Paint it green, red, purple, blue, whatever. We're gonna paint it black, but uh, how we got the two holes for the mountain area, we took the plastic cowling right here. We just held this thing up here like that. Went up underneath it with a Sharpie, just marked the holes. So when we go back over here, uh, then we can move this thing over here. When we get the plate, I like said, when you get this thing off, we just put two Maybe quarter quarter inch bolts in there. Yep, quarter inch. And we're just gonna take this plate and put it up in there. But you gotta do all that while getting the plastic before you, you know, put the plastic cowling back up there. And then you'll see it sticking off there and you can choose however far out you wanna mount your lights. Then and from uh this to that. Yeah, so you see how it's gonna end up, how it is, and we'll show you it once it's all completely bolted up on this bike and painted, we'll show you that process too, but Pretty simple to do. All right, so making progress. Got it all mounted up there. All we got left now is to drill holes and get the lights mounted. Like I said, you can see if it ain't too dark in there, shoot some bolts there to the existing clip holes. You just need uh, two hands helps, but you got to hold those bolts so they don't push back out of there because you can't get to the back side of them with your hands. So, but all in all, starting to look like that one. We'll get the lights mounted up and show you the finished product. All right, and there's the finished product. Got the lights mounted. Got all the bar up there mounted up there good and tight. We'll just put the switch up here for the lights right there. I'm gonna show you the wiring. I'm sure there's plenty of videos on YouTube for the wiring. Probably way better than we could ever do, but they're working. You wanna know, get Timmy to cut them on for you? There they are. I think that's about the cleanest you can get as far as uh, 
putting your uh, a light bar on your V-strom, your first gen V-strom. Just keep some of there, like I said, nice and tight. So you got plenty of room. So if you drop the bike, it ain't gonna break the lights off or bend nothing else. That's behind the crash though. Yeah, and they're just good and sturdy. So now, there, both of them are done. All right, that wraps up this video. Hope y'all enjoyed uh, seeing us build our light bar for the fog lights on front of Timmy's bike. I, I think they, like I said, they work pretty good. Keeps them out of the crash zone. Everything gets, I mean, out of harm's way, so they're good to go. So can't wait to use them. Yeah. So uh, thank y'all for watching. If it helped Jenny, uh, please like the video. Please consider subscribing to our channel, and we'll see y'all in the next one. Thank y'all.